What is up, ladies and mullets? Welcome back to another episode of the podcast, A Hand of a Finding Worker. I'm your host, Shaq the Beast, as usual, and I'm here on this podcast with this new episode. The idea for this one came from Aiden, who is my helper, which is the topic for this episode. So, if you know, you know I don't name names of companies and refineries, but if you can put it together, you put it together, that's on you. But if you've been in the industry and you work for this company, you already know. Because with crane and rigging, there isn't many people that there isn't many people that do rigger helpers. This company is still holding on to that idea as it being a good idea. I don't I don't feel it's a good idea, but at the same time, I was a helper at some point as well. In the comments, let me know if you were ever a helper, which you should have been, because if you went from nothing to a journeyman, something's wrong there. But let me know in the comments what kind of helper you were, what your craft was, how did how did it go, how's it going, or how what, how did it go, and. Did you excel? Have you moved up? Were you bumped up? In the comments, let me know. Now, along with that, I'm going to say like and subscribe, all that good jazz. You know the drill. Let's get it. So Aiden is a helper. He's a rigger helper. And we're on a job site where it is a ways away and we are both from texas he's a little bit further out of texas than i am he for where he lives in texas is about an hour and a half from where i live so then you add that on to the five and a half hour drive that i have he's got a long way to go in texas so helpers depending on i guess there's levels to it which is whatever some helpers get per diem and some don't aiden is not getting per diem and there is a gentleman that is getting per diem. Now, the problem too, or as well, is there are people that are journeymen because they have a card, but they don't know what they're doing. And we have that too. And everybody has to start from somewhere. I'm not saying this gentleman is wrong for that. I'm saying... He's wrong for another reason, and I'll get into that here in a little bit. Let's get back to Aiden. Aiden is a pretty decent hand. I've told him about himself, so this ain't no shit talking coming from behind his back. And clearly, with this being his idea for this episode, I've already talked shit to him to his face. Aiden is a good kid. He will get up and do what I say. Obviously, I tell him things within reason. When I'm standing there teaching him and showing him stuff... He he gets it to the point where I can walk away, and I'll ask him, what did you learn from this? Or I, I've let him make mistakes. And the crane operator, uh, good old John Moore, he he knew what I was doing, and he let him do it. He It, it wasn't nothing that could kill him or get anybody hurt or, or damage anything, but we let him do it. And every time something like that happens or if I show him something new, I ask him, what did you learn? And he'll explain to me, and next time we're doing the same exact thing, he he gets it, so that's good. Where it goes bad is we're in a new construction job site, and we don't have to wear our fars, but we do have to have our gloves on for whatever fucking reason. 24-7, walking is working, clearly, but, I mean, whatever. It's their house, their rules. So I get on him about his gloves. Gentleman has tattoos on his forearms. Fuck, so do I. He likes to roll up his sleeves, I guess, to get a breather. Hey, we all want to get a breather. We all want some air. We can't do that. Got on him about that. Laziness is my pet peeve. And he's not lazy in the moment, but that mofo leaves trash everywhere. Water bottles, his his food plates, and sh- I'm like, yo, I'm not your mama. Clean up after yourself. But when it comes down to working and rigging and learning about the craft, he gets it. He does it, and we'll be getting it. This other individual, like bro, I call him line of fire, man, because at one point when I was with him, I had to tell him 
hey, get out of the way. Hey, move your hands. Hey, it, I don't get embarrassed. I could trip in front of a crowd of people. I wouldn't give a fuck. If it was somebody I knew in the crowd, we'd laugh together. If it's people I'll never see in my life, I don't give a fuck about them. I'll move on. I don't get embarrassed. But same helper had a GF from a different area. He needed us to help him with something. Was also telling him, hey, get out of there, buddy. And I'm like, oh, my God. Now, at this point, we, me and my rigging partner, Coyle, had already told him at least 10 times prior to this. It's like, hey, get out of there. Get out of the way. Move your hands. Hey, don't stand there. And then now a supervisor had to come tell you. It's crazy. It's it's nuts. But it's so bad. We were picking up 58,000 pound cement trench boxes. And there were two. I don't know what will possess this man to stand in between the two of them. Knowing that our crane operator can't hold his radius. I don't know if he can't or if he just won't do it. He... Anyway, that's a that's another topic for another day. But yes, he stood in the middle of these 58,000 pound cement trench boxes. Last last straw for me was when he argued with me and started yelling at me when I tried to tell him to get his hands out of the way because they could get pinched by a 600 700 pound spreader bar that we were about to lose the tension off of it so everything was going to go flop which it normally does when you have tension on something you let it go it's gonna it's gonna want to lay out oh my god he lost his shit i said with my supervisor standing right there i don't give a fuck if you die i am no longer helping you you could be in the middle of a wall and a fucking 18 wheeler going 90 mile an hour and i wouldn't say Hey, bud, get out of the way. Go fuck yourself. If you're going to argue with me and I'm trying to save your hands, save your life, say, I don't want to, I won't waste my time. And someone is probably looking at this and saying, man, that's fucked up. No, it is not. No, it is not. You know why it's not? Because if you didn't know, and I told you that one time, hey, bud, that stove is hot. Don't put your hand on it. That stove is hot. Oh, thanks, Shaq. Yeah, you're welcome. No problem. I turn around and 30 seconds later, your fucking hand is over the burner. That's on you. I I, I think my supervisor didn't know what the fuck to do. Showboat, look, I, I didn't really look at him. He was at my feet because I was on a trailer that was probably off the ground about five feet. And uh, let's say four feet, four feet off the ground. So, yeah, I didn't, I didn't too much look at him, but I knew he was there. And I didn't give a fuck. I just don't help that guy no more. It is what it is. He doesn't retain the information that we give him as well. And we could do something repeatedly. It's repetitive. When you're building something, each piece pretty much is going to be the same thing as you go around and you work on it. Okay. I've flown hundreds of skip pans, hundreds of pipes, hundreds of PSVs, pumps, motors, uh connexes it all becomes repetitive and we're doing the same thing day in and day out at some point you should get it to where i don't have to hold your hand and walk you through it he's not retaining the information that is a big thing if you're not retaining it you can't be cut loose you have to always be with somebody whether you get your card or not you're gonna kill somebody or kill yourself or destroy some property so that's that's that guy this is that's one of the reasons i don't agree with helpers now as far as the journeymen that have their card, I was that person. I was a journeyman. I had my card. I didn't know what to do. But I was put with people that were going to teach me and have me learn. And I picked up quick. I learned on turnarounds. I didn't learn the way that everyone suggests new construction. Fuck that. I hate new construction. I guess being a turnaround hand, it's not good to go back and forth because the slow shit and new construction drives me mad. I I don't mind being bowed up. Sometimes I need a break. I'm a human being. My body needs to break. But I am one that's like, oh, shit, it's fucking lunchtime. 
and I and I didn't realize it because I've flown so much and we've done so much and we bust an ass. Next thing you know, it's time to go. Oh shit, I didn't know that. I am that person. When you are a journeyman and you just got your card and you are a slow ass, sloth looking motherfucker, still not understanding, you two are just as bad as the helpers. You're just classified as a journeyman. That's what makes the craft bad. Not the actual helpers. It's the people like that. If you're going to be someone that doesn't have the experience yet, be a go-getter. I was told that by Matt Duck and Joker. Because I didn't know if I was doing okay or whatever. They're like, no, you're doing good. I'd rather take... And Jordan Way kind of attested to this too. We were all on a job during the freeze. And... Joker was telling me he'd prefer somebody that's going to hustle and bustle and work hard over a, a hustle and bustle and work hard that didn't know much over a lazy rigger that that has a bunch of experience. And now I have the experience and I still work the same. Any Anybody that's turned my name in, I never let them down. I never fucked their name up. So, yeah. Ladies and most, don't be that guy or that gal. Work hard, learn what learn and hone in on your craft, perfect it. There's no obviously there's no perfect, but work hard at it. Hustle. Sometimes that goes further than lack of knowledge. Do your thing. Get in there. Show up. Show out. And do a good job and learn. Don't be a lazy fuck. Ladies and mullets, I always say this. First and foremost, put God first. Be a hand, not a pinky. We don't fuck with that. Definitely, don't be a fucking worm. That's don't be a fucking worm. These helpers, they're fucking, they're fucking worms. Aiden's not, but half of these motherfuckers I work with are worms. Anyway, y'all be safe out there. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and leave me a comment about how you cannot be a worm and keep your gloves on in a place that you don't even need fucking gloves. But yeah, all right, ladies, mothers, I'm out of here. Y'all be safe.